Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for April 2024. It is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your current energy, the near future, which you don't see coming, and then what Spirit wants you to focus on this month. And then we will pull some Oracle cards, as we normally do. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. Um, if you are new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to pull a card from the astrology to see what the theme is for you this month. Okay, so your theme is Aquarius energy, which is originality philanthropy, I can get the word out, and progressive imaginings. Interesting. Okay, so you're going to be thinking ahead of the time. And that's what this age is about. The age of Aquarius is about forward thinking, right? Things that it's all technology, new inventions. Um, so you being something different than maybe what you've been portraying to the outside world is coming up this month. Um, some original ideas. Maybe you felt like you knew that something was changing, but you weren't sure what it was. And you could have also been digging pretty deep to ask yourself, what is it that sets me apart? Because there's always going to be something that is really original about you that is not the same, obviously, as other people, because each one of us is that. So something's going to be coming up for you this month. So just remember that if it feels a little off, do it anyway, or there's a little bit of fear. I just keep hearing do it anyway. So let's get into the tarot and see how this matches up with this energy. I say this because I have no idea who listens to me because there's so many different people, different types of people, but some of you could actually be inventing something. And whatever that last bit of information is that you needed or something that just hadn't quite worked itself out yet, I feel like this, this is the month when that's going to happen. All right, one more time. I feel like I need to cut. All right, let's see where your overall energy. We have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So I just heard don't take any small offers. If you happen to be approached and this is about... I just heard if somebody tries to negotiate your prices, one, no, slam the door on them. Two, if anybody tries to lowball you for any kind of services that you provide, I feel like there's a lot of door slamming because the more you stand your ground and the more you believe that you deserve what you ask for, the more it's going to come to you, right? Don't ever put your services on sale. Whatever that means to you, however that hits in the gut, because I just heard it's going to hit right in the gut, don't ever do that. If, if people don't think that you are as valuable as the price that you are asking, then there's something about the way that they perceive it and you don't want those types of people. All right, so the current energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So things may still feel like they're moving slow, but this month it's like things pick up and they get a little bit more steady. All of us have been dealing with a slower energy. When I did your next 10 days, which was probably about a week ago, maybe a little more than a week ago, I had said things have been standing still. You could have been dealing with the energy of the two eclipses. That comes to an end on the 8th. So you could find yourself finally getting kind of steady and stable where things are starting to glide along. So they could have taken a dip for you. Some of you, it may have been financial. You may have just felt like things were slow. And then they started to pick up just a tad. And now they're going to level out. So it may not be a big hike but you'll find yourself feeling more balanced, especially in your financial life. It doesn't have to just be around work. Okay, remember I said the two of cups is in reverse. Remember I said, if somebody doesn't see your value, we know this, but we sometimes have to be reminded of this over and over again because we don't always pick up on the signs that somebody doesn't see our value. It can be really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Usually I can come up with these words very quickly. It can be disguised in a whole lot of BS. So just be aware, put your antennas up this month. And again, just keep moving on, keep doing you because other people's opinions, you know, we know what we say about that, right? 
everyone, ha you know, I don't have to say it. Well, there's, oh my God, I'm stuttering over the, the things that I want to say. The six of cups in reverse could be that there are people who are judging you from your past, don't see your visions, don't understand you, don't get why you do the things that you do. It's none of their business. Just keep it moving. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. Sorry if that offends anyone, but it's true. And especially the people from your youth. If you happened to even be in any way in contact or people watching you, people who know that changes are coming in your life or have seen you grow in your life and maybe disagree with the truth, it's none of their business. It really isn't. And it can be hard when people are judgy or you know somebody's got an opinion about something. Right here, I want to say just keep pushing forward because what you're doing is the right thing and it's the right thing for you. All right. So in the near future, we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. If this happens to be a person in your life and you realize you're just going to push through it. I, I don't want to say this because not everybody is in the same position, but if something has died off romantically, it needed to go. And some of you are in very healthy relationships. I get that. But for some of you, this could be, I'm just continuing to stay steady because if something doesn't connect anymore, that's not the kind of relationship that you want. The world is in reverse. Okay. So something needed to change or some cycle feels like it's still not coming to an end. And yeah, everybody's going to be closing out cycles at different times. But right now, I feel like this is something about this is coming to an end. This is something with a person, clearly. You may not be speaking your truth and that may be... Sorry, I keep adjusting the cards. It bothers me when they're crooked. It feels like somebody needs to speak up. If you don't feel like you've been able to speak up or tell somebody how you truly feel, I get that. Sometimes we don't want the conflict or we don't want to deal with it. But there's this disconnect in energy. And it could be that somebody went quiet on you as well. And maybe a part of you feels like, geez, I mean, you could have at least said something. You didn't have to do it this way. And that could be anybody in your life. All right, let's see what you don't see coming. So the Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands in reverse and then the Page of Cups. Okay. Somebody is still truly watching you. Again, this could be somebody that you know from your youth, but there's always people kind of keeping an eye on what we're doing and we have absolutely no idea. Unless we go and see that somebody has viewed a profile on social media, we have no idea. Do I think this person's going to take any action towards you? Probably not. If it's a friend, if it's somebody you dated prior, whatever it is, I feel like this person's energy is a little bit... I hate to say it, but immature. Now, will they come forward at some point? Possibly. But if they do, it's going to be a very small offer. I, I feel shyness connected to something. This is not going to be the same as another person that maybe you're thinking about whose energy just wanted to kind of butt into your reading and say, hey, you know, I don't know how to connect on this level and maybe we need to have a discussion, but we can't. This is somebody completely different. Um, like I said, it could be friends. Maybe even people that you're not typically uh, concerned about. But I do feel like somebody wants to just come in and say, hey, thinking about you, you know, still have a lot of love for you. Glad to see you're doing okay. Something of that sort. So just be aware of the energy. Yes, it's Mercury retrograde. I didn't even think about that when I was saying it. But of course, that could be someone from your past coming in. Now, let's see what spirit wants you to focus on. The six of swords. Working on mental your mental health. And I say that meaning we all have our ups and downs. No doubt these last couple of weeks have been difficult. But really this is important because the only person who can control your thoughts and get you to a better place mentally is you. It isn't going to be the people external to you. And I feel like spirit's really pushing this in. Like if you want to get to that place where that jumbling stops, there's something you need to do either for yourself activities outside of everything else that you do in any given day and take the time to really make that your priority. So April is going to be important around mental health. Now the eight of wands, uh, this is going to take some time. If any of you have been feeling, listen, please, if anybody's ever in this position, please reach out to someone, please. 
don't ever think that you're completely alone. Even in the darkest of times, I know we can go to some crazy places. I'm not saying that all of you are feeling that way, but I think everybody's been asking themselves, what is this all for lately? Because we're not only a few are thriving in this society and it's hard for most people to feel like they have something to look forward to and it can be really frustrating. So please take care of yourself in that way. It's gonna take some time. I think you just need to back away from certain people and maybe activities. It is kind of hermity mode, but the hermit's not coming out. So the Ace of Pentacles. So something is waiting to come in for you. Um, a change may be something that you've been hoping for because you need to take a time out for this. And it could be a day or so. It could be just a weekend. And all of a sudden you feel refreshed and you're ready. So if you're kind of waiting for something new to come along or a feeling or a change in your finances, you're not doing anything wrong. You're not stopping anything from coming in. I just feel like you need to check in with yourself. All right, so the challenge is the Eight of Cups in Reverse, which tells me you're having trouble walking away from certain emotions that you're connected to. Whatever it is, a lot of things during these eclipses have been popping up from people's past. Deep, deep, deep-seated stuff that you thought you had already healed could have popped up again. And you could find yourself thinking of something and just snap your crying again. And you don't understand why. So it's been hard to release those emotions or leave them behind, really leave them behind. I think we, the way I look at it, everybody looks at things differently. We all wear some kind of scars from our traumas in these human existence is when we come in. And we can't leave them fully behind, but we can at least not let them drag us down completely. So if you find yourself feeling really emotional, this too shall pass. I just heard it could take some time, but just focus really on that the best that you can this month. It doesn't feel like a bad month. I just feel like things are going to be going more steady. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of high energy. Yes, it could be a lot of past things. You've got the Six of Cups and you've got the Page of Swords and the energy I was picking up from that. And then you've got somebody here who just wasn't capable of really deeply connecting the way that you want. You probably haven't spoken up, waiting for that to kind of end and let go of it. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think you're just going to be steady and taking better care of yourself. Now, the first burst of energy with that Aquarius card was about your originality. So maybe taking a step back, letting things kind of glide through this month is going to help you get the, I always call them downloads, because you'll get the messages when you need the messages, when the time is right. So if you're feeling a little bit like, oh, I want to switch things up or when you need things to be slow and calm in order for you to make those changes. They can't be crazy and up and up in arms all the time. Okay, so I am gonna that was long, but I'm gonna go ahead and clarify this and we'll do the clarifying and see what other messages there are and then I will pull <clears throat> excuse me, your Oracle cards. Okay, so the Ten of Wands is in reverse, which means some heavy burden of yours is being released this month. If it were in the upright, I'd be like, ugh, you're almost there. This is really a releasing of some kind of burden. <coughs> Again, that could be released. Some of these emotions, you know, as you work on mental health. King of Swords. I just heard some of you could have been dealing with a very difficult or secretive or sneaky person in your life. You could have had a father figure that was not only up and up, that's not, again, that's not going to be for everybody, but it may have been a challenging relationship and you're finally realizing that you need to work on that and allow that, whatever pain is connected to that, to release so that you can get to a better place. Even if you hadn't thought about this in years and you'd buried it, it could be popping up and you're finally just letting it go. Especially if that person was not the type of parent that all of us hope for. Okay. And then we have the Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're letting something go it's from childhood. Now, the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Cups, we have the Two of Pentacles in the upright, which is great because, you know, not being too concerned about what people are saying or doing behind your back. If they don't get you, they don't get you. You are coming into balance. Good things are happening for you, right? Things are going to keep progressing, but you're coming to a place where you feel more balanced emotionally in this month. And like I said, things are steady. So no matter what 
people are doing here, whether they have good intentions or it feels like they have good intentions or they think they have good intentions, I think you're going to be more, less, I'm going to say, better in your responses, less reactive to those types of people if they try to come back around. Yeah, you're just not having it anymore. Three of Cups just says you don't have any interest in having any connection, like it's not fun for you anymore because you're here. So the Knight of Wands in reverse with the world. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. You don't want to battle anymore. That's interesting. So if you felt like you've always been on guard, you've had to fight pretty hard to win some battles, I think you're just tired of having to do that or feeling like you need to do that. And that could be where you come in here with Queen of Swords where you're just quiet. Where you just don't do it anymore. You don't engage. If somebody cannot meet you where you are, meaning they don't have the ability to connect on a deep, intimate level, then what's to say? What's to say anymore? Then we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so what's important is that you're holding on to things that are truly, truly valuable to you. And if you set that type of boundary, and this is pertaining to anyone in your life, if you hold on to those beliefs and those things and you say, you know, this is what makes me feel really good. This is how I feel stable. I'm not going to let those things go or compromise those things. So if it means that I have to lose you, it may hurt, but I'm going to have to do so because I'm building something bright. And everything is about your energy, right? The pentacles don't just mean money and finances. They're actually Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And everything that's in the upright is all you, except the Page of Pentacles. And that's just because we, we had to make the point in the beginning, right? The ones, the Page of Pentacles, and then the Ace of Pentacles. Just because some opportunity hasn't quite come to you yet, doesn't mean it's not going to. It just means it is coming. It's not here yet. So let's keep moving forward with the Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands. We have the Emperor in reverse. Okay, so just be aware of people who really aren't, they aren't able to step up to the plate. If this is somebody who's interested or they're just coming in to say hello, they could be somebody who doesn't, have, I'm not saying they're bad, but I don't think they've reached this level. They're just somebody who wants to, you know, it, we're going through this war and I don't think a, a human alive, most humans alive, don't have a TikTok and don't see all the wars going on between the masculines and the fem male and female, I'm going to say. Because there is just this war of understanding where everybody stands and the things that we want and don't want and blah, blah, blah. So you could have somebody that's a little there, meaning they're not quite in their full masculine or full feminine and they don't really know who they are. So just be aware of that. And then we have the Page of Pentacles. So you have, there's it in the upright. Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody has a small offer for you. So it's up to you to choose whether that's enough. Now, let's go here where Spirit wants you to focus on your mental health. Great. As you do, when you take a couple days, doesn't matter when it is, here's what they're saying. You're going to get there. So have faith that you're going to get to the other side of whatever's been going on. If you've been feeling a little bit down or just discouraged, it may not happen quickly, but it's going to happen within the month, which is a relief. Under that, we have the Empress. Okay, so if somebody's coming in in, in an Emperor energy, regardless of gender, you know that. And then the Empress comes out. This is you. So once you get to this better place, this is just being in touch with your feminine side. The, this is also like Aquarian energy as well. Having new ideas about things, being pregnant, right? With ideas, she's she grows things. She's solid. She's fluid. She's really, really in touch with herself. So I don't want to keep describing the card. This is about you. And this is what you're going to come to. So you're going to be feeling, I think, a lot better about things, let's say towards the end of the month. The 20th is sticking out. I don't know why that date is so important, but I believe that might be when there's some astrological event with Venus that's super important. So just remember that I said the 20th because that could be when you start attracting in this new thing. And then the challenge with the Eight of Cups, we have the Page of Cups. So for some of you, yeah, maybe it's hard for you to offer your, your love to other people and walk away from the things that have already hurt you in the past. 
maybe you didn't realize that those things were still kind of lingering in your energy. And now this page of cups, the challenge for you could be, you know, being there. Sometimes we have to go through one extreme. It's like we give, 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 and then we have to cut everything off. And then to warm up to giving again can be a little challenging because if you've been taken advantage of quite a bit by people, then yeah. So you may be feeling like, eh, I'm not sure who I want to give this to, but who's most important to me in my life? I just heard if you have children, it could be your children that you're primarily focused on. Maybe that's where you feel like you can give your love if it's not necessarily in partnership. And if you have a great partnership now, that's wonderful. There's just all these energies that are popping up. It doesn't mean that you don't still have things connected to your past that have to come up and be released. All right, let's get some advice. What advice do we have? We're going long. I don't know if you can see it. My head usually will pop in. <laughs> Top of my head. All right, let's see what the advice is. So, lovers, it's, the focus is not supposed to be on relationships. Not saying you don't have to pay attention to your partner. It's just not going to be the primary focus. It's just not. Where you're going to be primarily focused is on you and balancing yourself out. That's twice now that you've gotten the two of pentacles. And she's in a good space. It's like your energy is... It's just good. You're flowing. Nothing speedy, nothing's dramatic. It's just flowing. Ten of Swords in reverse, which is good because you're releasing those things that are connected to, well, one, the thoughts that we all can have at times when we're really frustrated. Again, mental health, releasing things that stress you out. Ten of Swords is about feeling betrayal, obviously, and letting go of some of that, and then the Ace of Swords. So your mind is going to be cleared by the end of this month. And the Ace of Swords is going to give you the clarity, give you the, the knowing. It's going to clear your head. I just feel like for a lot of you, the way I'm seeing this is that the space is going to be cleared so that you can come up with these things that you want to come up with, these new ideas. If we're clouded with a lot of residual, mucky, kind of emotional stuff, we have a hard time experiencing the new. So I think you're going to get really, really clear. A lot of this is going to be let go of this month. And then we have the Knight of Swords and then you're going to take off a running. There you go. Ace of Swords with this clarity, Knight of Swords, taking off in the direction that you know you're supposed to be going. If you felt like you were just kind of not sure what path you were supposed to be on, well, it's going to be clear, very clear. And you're going to dart right towards it. Jump on that bike and Get moving. All right, what do we have next? All right, so these oracle cards usually give a little bit of advice. Let's see. We'll top this advice off with this one. Be patient, okay? Nobody's greatest quality is patience. Honor Gaia. So some of you, you may need to connect a little bit more. You are an earth sign, um, and some of you may love being outdoors, but this could be a time when it would be really good for you to do that. A lot of you are humanitarian type of energies. Embrace the dark. I wanted to say that because that has a lot to do with caring about Mother Earth. Okay, so embrace the dark. Yeah, embrace that darkness and know that you can get past it. And then observe in silence. Remember I said there could be a little bit of time where you need to step back and just be a little bit quiet and observe the things around you. What do we want next? I'm going to get the Lover's Oracle. I know there was, you know, a, a little bit around love, but let's just see what it has to say. If there's any specific message. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another or qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. That is always a hard pill to swallow, but what I love about my Capricorns is you understand that is that you're not going to get upset when somebody says, hey, look, you got to take a look at yourself. Uh, I mean, a reader like, like me. And plus, if you've been around, you know how I am. I'm very direct. So you understand what this means, that sometimes we have to go within and say, well, if I don't like what that person's doing, I got to take a look at me. And I'm not talking about abusive. I have to make that very clear. If somebody else is abusive. That's not what I'm talking about. We should always check ourselves if we find ourselves getting that way, right? Okay, so sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. For those of you in one, this may be a month where you're really grateful for the one that you have. Transformation, your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Perfect. 
If you feel like you haven't quite gotten to that place, just honor this relationship if you're in one. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. This is for my singles. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Of course you do. You know that. We just have to kind of check that temper at times that, you know, and I know because I'm Capricorn rising and moon, that we get when somebody hurts us. And when we don't get what we know we deserve in a relationship. All right. Let's see what we get with the... Oh, so many. So there you go. So some of you are going to be leaning on the person that you've been with for quite some time. Maybe you have a great partner. And if you don't yet, this is what I know most of you are seeking. Because I read for a lot of you. And I say that often. You could be 41, born on the 4th, the 1st, or the 5th of the month. And this is great because that's what they do. They mate for life doesn't matter how old you are. Your soul came in here to experience that kind of connection at this time in your life. When it pops up, that could be the time for somebody born on the dates that I say or at the age that that is. So remember, for some of you, that's where it is. They're saying come to the edge. Don't be afraid to take some chances this month as well, especially with your ideas. Okay, come to the edge. 36, you could be 36, born on the 3rd, the 6th, or the 9th. And then we have poised. Hmm. See... Believe it or not, this is how you always appear to the people outside of you. You always seem like you keep things together. People don't really, they aren't able to penetrate your energy very well. So one, I don't think, I think we all care a little bit about what other people think. But right now I wouldn't be so concerned about it because this is how people seem to view you. There's definitely people watching you. So you could be 48, born on the 4th, the 8th, or the 12th of the month. And then we're going to go with a leg up. Um, this is off subject because we haven't really discussed like if there's new work opportunities or things coming in. But if you are questioning, you have a leg up um, to the competition. That's what it comes across as to me. So you could be 34, born in the 3rd, the 4th, or the 7th of the month. Just, I just heard just keep trying because, again... You are original, that Aquarius energy, and something about you is going, and it'll be at the right time, is going to draw an employer to you. You don't have to work as hard as you think you do. That's a human perspective. Once you get to this place where you're really spiritually engaged, you understand that you go with the flow because we have no control. We think we do. We're guided to go do the things that are the natural steps, but a lot of, a lot of times humans are forcing those things and wondering why they're not getting the outcome that they want. It's because it's being forced instead of allowing the guidance to take over. Okay. Last one. As we've been doing, let's close this out with your Australian animal. What is that going to be? You know what? It doesn't matter how much I mix these up. The cicada is wanting to come out. Timing. So for a lot of you, this is about timing. Um, I just heard not being frustrated. So you could be 28, born on the 28th, the 2nd, the 8th, the, or the 10th. So let's see what the cicada says. Bear with me while I get to the page. Okay. The cicada. Cicada sings to remind us to be in tune with our internal timing. Its song invites us to be aware of the cycles throughout our life and to trust in divine timing knowing that the universe has heard our request and all will be manifested at the exact right time, just like we were talking about. Cicada asks you to set clear intentions so that your vibrational request will return love and abundance in perfect timing. Divine timing, trust the process, set clear intentions. Okay, we may have gotten that one for you before. All right, my loves, those were your messages. Thank you so, so much for being here. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys. Um, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment. I don't get enough comments. I'd like to read more and really connect with you guys. I love you so much. Have a great month and I will see you in the next one. Take care.